Amy Legion, how y'all doing today? Uh, recording late night, 12.50, I watched uh, The Social Dilemma. I know in chats with uh, Pink, she was telling me I should watch it. And then also, I know her and Edie did a video about it. And I watched it on Netflix. And it's a very eye-opening thing about social media and how it impacts our lives. How it takes up a lot of our time. And changes our way of thinking and stuff. It's weird because, well, some of that is my design as well. But I, I mean, when because I, I'm like I love a, uploading videos. And it was when I first started my YouTube channel. I had Windstream and stuff like that, and. Uh, if it wasn't something that was on, I recorded my webcam, it'd take forever for it to upload. And it was like one of those ones I got stuck in a contract and stuff like that. And then, um, so I was on Windstream for a while. And, you know, like I said, it'd take a long time to upload a lot of videos. Film, uh, so I didn't do a lot of HD. HD would take forever. But, I mean, if I filmed it on a webcam, it wasn't that bad. And, uh, whenever I left, uh, well, I got Spectrum cable, like, well, I mean, I, well, it's, I had Spectrum, but whenever I got internet through Spectrum, uh, well, Time Warner at the time, my mistake. Yeah, you know, like three months after Dad passed away, I found that my uploading speed was a lot faster, so I could upload videos a lot sooner. So any day I have off, I try to upload like four to five videos, that, uh, work night, maybe two videos, or three, depending on how I feel, or one, maybe. But very rarely one, unless it's like a big collab with like Joey's World Tour or something like that. I haven't done a collab with him in a while. Well, anyways, some of that was my design how you use up time. But I mean, social uh, dilemma is like how all these sites uh, use like little tricks and stuff like manipulation to try to get you to stay on their site. And that's where they click more ads and, and make more money and stuff. And Facebook like that. And then it goes uh, from that. And it, it had like some like a. Uh, um, like a recreation sequence of how they control this one kid, you know, staying on pretty much Facebook and stuff like that, and like they make money on ads and stuff like that. I don't know exactly how all that works, but I mean, it was really interesting and fascinating. Um, and like I said, a lot of times people are like, "Why don't you go on uh, create your own Discord?" So I'm on a Discord with my friend Demonic, but create your own Discord or like, why don't you? Uh, do podcasts, stuff like that. It's like, I don't have the time. I mean, I work away. I mean, the YouTube, it takes up a lot of time because, I mean, I love uploading. Videos. I think YouTube switched at YouTube Studios because a lot, it takes a lot longer to upload videos than it did before. Because I can upload a lot quicker on the other one. And that's one reason why they switched over. Um, but, you know, and if you click on certain items, they find out videos and recommend it for you on the side and stuff like that. That's how I find about some channel like Minis Comedic Arts. And now, like, what is it, Weird History or something like that? Um, but it's a fascinating documentary. So, like, but I love, so I love YouTube. I, I mean, when I, when I first started my channel, I didn't have, I mean, I started January 2013. I didn't even think about going on Facebook until like December of 2013, almost a year after I started doing online stuff. I never was on, never had, never had internet or something like that till 2013. Uh, and then I did create a YouTube account. I didn't add anybody. I just was on there. Just I didn't know what to do. And then like two weeks later, I started announcing I was on it. And then it started rolling from there. Now I have Twitter. I use that a little bit. I don't really use Twitter anymore. I used to use it a lot. I don't use that much anymore. I have Instagram. I don't use that. TikTok, I, I mean, I kind of use that somewhat. On my new computer, I can't get to my account. I got to ask Rita for help with that. Um, I, I have the old account on my older computer that I have the main videos on. Uh, I only have a couple of videos. There's nothing, you know, spectacular. Uh, spectacular. I have Instagram. I don't, really, I don't really use Instagram, but I'm on it. I have a page on Reddit that hasn't been updated in, in ages. I just didn't have the time. But I mean, some people created me stuff on Reddit. I'm, I'm on some other stuff, too. But pretty much my main focus is, like, YouTube and Facebook. 
Uh, like two, and then like of course email, and I guess Twitter. Those are the main ones. Um, and I create my two old Facebook groups too. But I mean, I love the movie. The movie is fascinating and stuff like that. But I think, uh, I think it's important, even though it takes up a lot of my time. I think I still think social media is important. I know it manipulates people. I know it helped influence like politics and stuff like that. I didn't get involved in any of that stuff. I know a lot of people were sick of it, complaining about it on Facebook. I just kind of avoid that altogether. But I know it does it does influence people, and it's not. It can be very negative too. But I do embrace. I still embrace uh, that. I told now, Dee Dee. Delusion dispelled. I say Dee Dee's easy to say. You know, I, I make mistakes sometimes saying delusional, but delusion dispelled. Um. You know, she was asked about a statistic or something like that. I said there's a site you can go to called Social Blade. She was asking about subscriber numbers or how many video views she had. And I said, well, they will tell you on Social Blade. And she, I looked, I said, and she, I guess she clicked on, she said, she said that's uh, both uh, helpful and scary at the same time. When I understand, I mean, because they have a lot of information of like stuff you do and stuff. It's crazy, you know? But I love the movie. I think it's a fascinating movie. I mean, it definitely. Uh, shed some light on it, but I mean, it was like, I know with a, a certain someone I know, she said she was always on Facebook and stuff like that. She said, staying up too much for a time, she wanted to get off of it. Sometimes you get addicted to it. I, I, I love uploading videos. I really do. I know it takes, I mean, ta making videos, some I don't have any videos made up ahead of time. Usually I'm pretty good at that. Sometimes I don't. And I know it's weird because I know at work, I'm like, I feel like I don't want to make any videos. I don't want to make it. I don't feel like making any videos. I get home and I'm like, hey, let's make some videos. It's really weird how that works. But I mean, at work, it's like, eh. Um, but no, I, I thought uh, the Social Dilemma was a fascinating movie. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's very eye opening. I, uh, Netflix has some good documentaries. And then if you want to find some really obscure ones, Amazon's really good. I found you know, some really unique documentaries about. Tape collating and tape Canadian. God, tape collecting. Uh, see, that could use up your time too, all this streaming stuff. Because, I mean, people say, You watch the new show. I mean, there's not enough time in the world for all this stuff now. I remember as kids, we were kept up. We kept up with all of it. <laughs> At least it seemed like we did. But I give the social dilemma a 10 out of 10. I want to dedicate this to Pink, Lady Luck, and also DD Loon Dispeller because they did videos about it. Hope you like this video. Until next time, bye. Please take care, of my legion.